Aloha, welcome to Pacific Pulse. Today we're so fortunate. I'm kind of fanboying out because this guy has been one of my heroes since I started surfing and he's still knocking down the doors today. We're talking about two-time Triple Crown winner, a former world touring pro, and he's still banging out with the pros. We're talking about Michael Ho. Good morning, how's it Michael, how are you? Good morning, Guy. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing fine, and we're amazed at what you did at the last Eddie. That's got to be the biggest Eddie ever, the biggest Waimea rideable ever, and you are still like kicking it with the, with the with the young guns. Yeah, it was pretty much the biggest uh, waves I've ever surfed at Waimea, and uh, it was one of the biggest Eddies. And I'm, I'm sure we couldn't do it without the water safety. I'm pretty positive about that. Yeah, but Mike, looked like you were having fun. You were on the beach, and I was there for several eddies. In fact, one where you pulled into the shore break, and you had to be carried up, and you still went back out. What keeps you going after all these years? Um, I just wanted to go out one last time to Waimea and uh, just live the moment uh, being out there at the eddy in, mem in memory of eddy. And, yeah, that's that's really fitting that it happened. Yeah, and now you said to somebody that this was gonna be your last eddy, and after your performance, are you having regrets about that? Do you think you still wanna try for one more? Should it go again? No, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just glad I got to surf out at Waimea in memory of Eddie with uh, five, six people out, and it was a nice day, uh, and yeah, that was nice. I was really happy. Yeah, no, no, Mike, I think you're just a wonder in what you do. Like, everybody's talking about Tom Brady, who is 46 or 47, and you got that guy beat, and you're, you're in some life-threatening condition still at 65. So is there a secret to it? And, and you got to share with us uh, how you've been able to keep that longevity going. Well, pretty much growing up in Hawaii, you're gonna, if you're going to want to be a pro surfer, you're going to have to surf big waves one time or another, and... When I first wanted to be in a pro event, George Downing once told me that um, if you if you can swim out to sunset and swim in today, then you should be in the event because I wanted to be in the event and I wasn't invited. But um, that day I couldn't have swimmed out there. I was like 17 and I couldn't have swam in. So I never forgot that. And so if you can't swim out to where you're going to surf and swim in, pretty much you shouldn't be out. And, and I don't know if I can be out at Waimea swimming out and swimming in right now. I was never a really good swimmer. Uh, I, I still uh, take issue with that, Mike. You're so humble about that. But now for you, and now for you being a dad, it must be so satisfying to see the success of your kids, Coco and Coco and um, and Mason, right? Yeah, I'm re I'm really proud of them, and um, the. They kind of keep me going in the water, and pretty much that's why I'm still doing it. They inspire me every day, and um, yeah, I'm really proud. My dad uh, taught us, my sisters and my brother, and all of us how to surf my mom, and ever since then, it's just been our recreation, and that's what we do for fun, yeah. All right, so Mike, we're saying aloha to the Eddie, but you're still gonna be out there. Uh, you got your slot at Pipeline, and I'm sure you're not giving that up anytime soon. Well, I'm going to give that one up too, Guy. I'll just tell you first, I'm, I'm pretty done with pipeline also. I'm just going to, I like surfing um, back door six foot and under. And yeah, I'll leave it for the for the big guys. But I really hope to see uh, 10 of the CT guys in the Eddie next year. I'm going to get a hold of, uh, I'm going to get a hold of Clyde and see if I could uh, get something going. And I want to see some of these, you know, Jack Robinsons, um, all the big dogs out there doing their thing. They'd probably show us a lot of good stuff, but yeah. All right, Mike, still setting a great example. I hope to see you out there, uh, out on the North Shore, in some rideable ways for me, as well as everybody else. Thank you so much, Guy. And I just wanted to say, uh, really watch you guys, and I want to thank all you guys for um, putting on a good Hawaii News Now show every day, and uh, it's nice to watch you folks. All right, Mike, we couldn't do it without your help. So we'll see you on the North Shore sometime soon. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. And of wow. course, we'll see everybody else out in the Pacific.